All right. Had, we had a little uh, day one mindset for the sixth time, which was great. Uh, full pads for the second day, which was even better. Uh, had a little heat, which made it the best. And uh, that, was, uh, that was exactly what we needed today. We needed a little bit of heat. and hit about midway through practice. The breeze stopped, and heat kind of got on them a little bit and pushed through some – made a little, had a little adversity hit us. And uh, I wanted to see how those guys responded, and they did a, they did a really good job responding. So that was, that was good to see. I uh, thought we tapered just a little bit uh, right after our halftime, just, just for a little bit. But uh, came back at the end and finished strong, which is all about what we, we're, we're preaching here, is just how it's all about our finish. Um, just some really some good on good situations right there at the end, some goal line situation, made it live. Um, and again, I, as I shared with them, we've got to create toughness. We've got to develop toughness. We've got to coach tough and, um, and a relentless pursuit to the ball. And that's always been our philosophy, and it will continue to be that way. And it's a, it's a one day at a time mindset. Uh, but uh, definitely got some guys that are, that are giving it out there, and uh, I'm excited about those guys that are, that are pushing. Um, got, had a chance to open up practice with uh, some good on good, a live situation there, uh, moving some guys around, uh, threw them freshmen in there at quarterback, see what they could do. I uh, had Connor Nolan getting some of the reps with the ones and John Steven getting reps with the twos, see if they could move the football and you know, create a little bit of, a, a little, little bit of excitement on that sideline. So uh, uh, I thought they, they both did a, did a good job and um, as, as Cole and Dalton and Ty have done uh, to this point. We want to see some of these young guys getting some reps. So. Uh, with that, now I'll open up with questions. Just for Saturday's scrimmage, what would a quarterback need to do to set himself apart from the others? I just think probably the consistency, um, you know, from, from what we've seen this week, um, to, to continue to be consistent. Obviously, coaches being off the field, more of a game setting that we could possibly have. Uh, um, even though we may script eight straight plays and see how they respond, how they lead their team, um, how they're encouraging guys. So, yeah, I, I think that's a possibility that it could happen Saturday, some of it. But, uh, um, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see on that. Now, you know, it's all about getting in that stadium and uh, seeing how these guys respond. Coach, two, twofold, but Dorian Gerald getting out there in full pads. I know I could hear the coaches really getting on him, trying to just get him to full speed. And then Randy Ramsey did some footwork stuff, but didn't do some tackling stuff. What's what's going on with him? Yeah, we, we kept Randy out today, um, precautionary, and uh, on a few things. He he um, had kind of a just a slight kind of a hamstring, little slight little tightness in it. So we kept him out today. That's why he wasn't in yellow. Uh, but he could get some footwork drills in. He'll be fine. Uh, Dorian Gerald, it's all about getting him in shape right now. That, that's, that's really what it is. I mean, he's, um, he came in, in in decent shape, but not anything like what we need him in. And, and, you know, just being here over the last two weeks or whatever it's been, week and a half, um, it's just trying to get him in game shape now and, uh, you know, staying bearing down on him. He's got a lot of potential, but he's got a lot to learn still too. Chad, who have you seen rise up in the live tackling stuff? Who, who has really impressed you so Yeah, far? you know, um, yeah, it's, it's the, the guys that you would expect, obviously, that you, you know, you've seen that, 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 are, that are playing well. Uh, yesterday we had a couple of live sessions, and obviously, you know, we mentioned Randy Ramsey. He was, he's been doing a, a good job. He's really presenting a problem out there on the edge, and, you know, for, for any tackle. Uh, to try to block, which which helps us out, makes us a little bit better on that that edge, having to go against a guy like him. Gabe Richardson's doing some good things. Um, you know, Dre and, and Scooter in there, which you would expect. Um, you know, those are veterans. Um, you know, Hayden Henry is another one that's, that's playing multiple positions right now that always shows up. Uh, he's always around the ball. And uh, I'll tell you another one that I've been very impressed with is, is working his tail off is uh, uh, two guys, really, you know, really D Walker, um, which I know D wasn't out there today. He was in the training room, but he'll be back out. But, um, you know, Grant Morgan, Grant's another one that is just always around the ball. Um, and then out there at the, the corner position, I've, I've been pleased um, with, with Ryan Pulley. I think he's, he's definitely has a great mindset about him right now. Um, but, uh, you know, Devon McClure is another one that just shows up. He just keeps showing up. Um, in, in a live setting. So we're, we're a long way away from being from where we want to be. But um, for the two days and putting these guys in live situations, and, um, you know, I, and I firmly believe, I know there will be a point in time in camp that we got to back out of some live situation. But the only way to get better at tackling is you got to tackle. You, you got to go. You got to go live. And, and um, 
And so uh, that's that's kind of what we're what we're seeing. Trying to learn how to practice. Um, we had a little situation, uh, not a situation. Had a little uh, you know, point in time in practice yesterday that we weren't practicing like we need to practice. Had guys on the ground. Um, we want to stay off the ground in in different settings of practice, whether it be a thud or or what it may be. We're not diving anybody's knees in a in a uh, in a in a true live setting uh, against ourselves. So. Uh, just learning how to practice today was much, much better, much improved in that. But um, there's been some guys that, that have stepped up. Uh, Michael Taylor's another guy that's that's kind of flashing, I'm seeing. Yeah, I also so. meant to follow up with uh, what does Yelta look like at center the last couple of days in that combo that you're looking at there? You know, it, uh, you know, it, it is a um, – he's looking good. I, I will say that. Let's say he's looking, he's looking good. Um, I think today was better than yesterday, obviously – with the transition there and getting the majority of the reps today, I think he, he just, you know, he's he's a perfectionist. He studies the game. He wants to be the best, and uh, moving him there is a um, is is, is going to help us out right now, um, and help this entire football team. So, I thought his footwork was better today. His snaps were a little bit more on time. Yesterday was a little bit delayed, in some of the snaps, but uh, today was much better. Chad, you talked about you know Devwell losing losing a lot of weight. How, How's he look this week at that weight? And um, what are you looking for from him and the other running backs in the scrimmage on Saturday? Yeah, I think Devois has looked um, – he, he looks lighter as far as on his feet and movement, his, his plants and the ground, his vision. You know, he sees it and makes the cut. Where, and, you know, in the spring I think he saw it, but he just couldn't get into the cut quick enough. Uh, I think you're seeing that. He looks – he just looks more explosive. Um, and then from first Saturday, what we're expecting out of these guys are going to get a lot of reps. Um, and we, we want to see them pass protect. We want to see, you know, are they going to be able to execute uh, with coaches off the field? That, that's really, and that's not, not just them, but everybody. What kind of week? Or, uh, what do you thought of your running backs at so this far? Point? Yeah. Uh, I think they've got a great, we got a great running back room right now as far as challenging each other. Uh, there's a lot of competition going on right now. Uh, I keep mentioning his name, but Malik Williams is, is one that's 225 pounds and he's running hard. Um, they doing some, did some good things today in some short yardage situations. Uh, but uh, they're all pushing each other from, from Devois to Chase to TJ uh, and Rakeem. I think Rakeem today probably uh, uh, felt like he hit a wall a little bit um, as far as just all the install and everything just kind of jumped on. He's a lot like Dorian trying to get into that game speed shape. Uh, but um, going to be going to be a fantastic player for us. I, I love our depth in that running back room. Yeah, we, saw, we got to see the W drills. What do you like out of those things? And um, I don't know anybody pop on that one. Nah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'd have to go and look at it. I was more concerned with just trying to get the reps in back and forth and creating some excitement. Um, you know, I, I love it because it puts all three levels of the of the game. You know, from and it's realistic. And um, from the O line, D line. But creating that line of scrimmage, you got to win there and you got to stay in bounds. If you can get to that second level, you now have your tight ends on linebackers at that second level. The field gets a little bit wider because you're playing more in space. And then you get down close to the, you know, the goal line and now you, the field is much wider and it's a wide receiver on a DB. I think it's a very realistic drill, involves everybody. It exposes guys. Um, you know, we, we, you, you might have had an execution at the first level and the second level, and all of a sudden you didn't get the execution at the third level like you want, and the guy gets exposed. Um, that was good. I, I thought we, we did it in the spring a couple times, um, and then to see these guys transition into it today, with, I thought was really good. It would be, be interesting to watch. Got a lot of reps. Well, Michael and Jordan Jones, um, the other day, they said they're just having fun again. What are you seeing from them as they vie for, for playing time? Well, you know, it's fun to watch these guys. It really is, you know, being being the head coach of these guys and watching how this, this team is transforming since spring through through the summer into the first six practices. Um, watching these guys, I mean, they are. They're, they're, they're pushing each other. Uh, it's go, go, go constant. There's not time to sit around and think. you you, you got to be moving. Um, and they're enjoying it. I mean, they're enjoying the, 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 the practice of being around each other. I will say this about both of those guys, and, and Jordan Jones in particular, he's having a really good camp right now. He really is. Um, he's standing out. Uh, I've heard Jordan Jones talk more over the last three or four days than I've heard him talk since I've been here. He's, having, he's got a lot of confidence. I think that has a lot to do with some strength that he gained um, during, during the summer. Uh, he's making plays out on the field, and it's good. It's good to see that. And same way with with Petway. I mean, he's he is um, you know he's got that boundary position. He's big. He's physical. 
and uh, uh, again, just just pushing each other. They see that they're all in it together. I mean, when you get out on that field, you've got to have each other to survive. And that's the mindset that we have to create. We have to create total chaos out there. But it's a mindset of I need my whole wide receiver group to survive and to push and make myself better through practice. Otherwise, it's going to go, 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 and you're going to be you can't get all the reps. And so that's every position. So not only what we're doing in that meeting room, but you get on that practice field and you're creating that unity because you need those guys right there with you to help you out. Individually, how's it shaking out with the tight ends and the various roles that you've got for them? Yeah, I, I think that uh, Austin Cantrell is is definitely a guy that's uh, uh, has picked up where he left off in the spring. Jeremy Patton, uh, another one that, that is we talked about is is just playing with a lot more confidence. Um, the thing I've seen with Jeremy Patton is, and you know, just from my short time I've been with him. Um, one, he's a caring kid. He, he, he cares. He loves football. He cares, and he wants to be great. Um, and, and he's matured so much since, since, I, since I've gotten here, since I've been around him. Um, and so that's good to see. Uh, he's got a great talent. Uh, C.J. O'Grady is one that's um, I, I, that, this getting better. Uh, he's, had, he's, he's put together, as I told him yesterday, I said, you've, you've put two good days of practice together. Is there any way possible we could put three together? And, um, and, and I believe you put three together today. So we're going to celebrate three straight days of C.J. O'Grady doing some good things. We still got to get better. Uh, and that's what it's about. It's about stacking good days on top of good days. And, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's about getting out there and getting after each other. The other kid that we, uh, uh, that's the kid, the other, the other player that we have that is um, playing um, multiple roles is Grayson Gunner. And uh, Grayson is, is doing some, some things, as I mentioned earlier. I think we talked about this. Um, might have been at our media day at the golf tournament, but uh, the, the role of Grayson Gunner and where he is and um, being able to play at some of that wide receiver position and, and uh, come back in that backfield. So excited about him. Again, same thing. I think the tight end room, the running back room has the depth. They got a lot of competition, and they need each other to get through practice out there and push each other. Armand Watts had, had mentioned how he's had a really up and down career here. I'm curious what what your conversations have been with him since you've been here, and what you've seen from him through one week. Yeah, you know, I, I've told Armand, I, I, I don't care what what's happened in the past. That's irrelevant to me. It, this is a fresh start, and um, now how you how you work day to day is is completely up to you. Um, he, he had a good summer. Uh, has started out fall camp good, putting good days on top of good days. I said, hey, can we continue that? Because if we can, then, then you'll like the end result. Um, if not, you know, it, it'll be the same old, same old. So, it, you know, we're not, we're not going backwards. This program is going to continue to drive forward with you or without you. And uh, you got to keep pushing. You got to keep challenging yourself. You got to keep understanding there's, got, there's depth behind you that's going to push you. And, uh, and we're not letting up. So, um, so far, you know, he's stacking some good days on good days. We'll see how Saturday goes when, you know, I, I'm, I'm really hoping that, that uh, it would get better, you know, be about, you know, somewhere around 100, 101 on Saturday would be awesome. And to see how these guys could respond out there in the turf uh, in the stadium. Coach, you talked about Dorian and, and Rakeem, what <clears throat> happens with new guys. And just six days in, it kind of jumps on them. What, what have you seen from your – your other newcomers, your freshmen, and who's maybe fighting through that six-day period and has got a chance to help you? I think we've got a lot of freshmen that have the chance to help us out this year. Um, you know, it's really hard to see, you know, without without just going in there and, and with two days in pads. But, you know, some guys that have just, just flashed, and you know, just, just right off the top of my head, Joe Fouché. I mean, I, I mentioned him a few days ago, and I think he's, he's a guy that hands down has a chance to, to be special. He really does. Um, you know, I've, I've been pleased with with Day Day, Ladarius Bishop. Uh, he's done some good things. He's, you know, I think today, um, not just one freshman. You know, there's been several of them that kind of hit that six day wall a little bit. And uh, as I told him, you know, we got to pull them through the knot hole. You just got to keep pulling. It's going. It, you're going to make it. You're going to survive. Just keep pulling. And um, but but I've been again pleased with those guys. Obviously, we've talked a little bit about the two quarterbacks. Um, I do – Noah Gatlin. Noah Gatlin, both these two two offensive linemen that we got, Silas Robinson and Noah Gatlin, these guys are getting a ton of reps in that offensive line. 
And, um, you know, for, you know, whatever the circumstance is, we've got some guys out right now. Um, it's forcing these two freshmen, young guys, to get in there and get, get you know, game speed reps. Um, and they have done a, a really good job, really good job. And I've been very proud of them. Um, been proud of our older guys kind of nurturing and bringing those guys along too. Uh, so again, th those are those are some. I, I'm I'm pretty sure I probably missed one or two here, but you know Isaiah Nichols, um, you know he and he uh, he's got some he's he's got a lot of fight in him now. I I, I love it, and uh, um, he, he's he's a good one. Gonna have a great career here uh, in that defensive line. But anytime you get two freshmen tangled up out there, practice a little bit and get the spirits flying around, everybody high fiving, hooting, and hollering. You you kind of love it. That means that, that, that you're doing something. So. Uh, um, excited about the, the freshman we brought in. Hey, Chad. We hadn't talked a whole lot about defensive tackles with you until like today with Watts and, mm -hmm. and Isaiah, but how do you think that depth is going to stack up there when you're talk, talking about a couple of guys who are dinged up, Caps and Gidry and TJ Smith? And also, how do you see Sosa's reps coming up in the scrimmage? More tackle or end? And he's been running some second team. Yeah, you know, both. Uh, I think you're going to see him at, at, at some tackle, some end uh, in the scrimmage Saturday. Um, you know, I think we got some competition right there. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, these guys have come in. They're pushing each other. I've been pleased with Jonathan Marshall, TJ Smith. I mean, these guys are creating some depth right there. We hope to get Briston Gidry back next week. Um, that's, that's our hope. Um, that's, that's the plan right now. Um, but uh, with Isaiah Nichols and – um, T.J. Smith and, and Jonathan Marshall, and now Sosa's inside playing some there, and Armand Watts. So, uh, you know, I, I, I like our depth. We just got to we got to find that right fit and and keep pushing each other. But um, you know, as far as uh, um, I, I think you, we, we talked a little bit right there about um, you know, or B.J. Farrell's another one. We'll see on him where where he is with his uh, rehab and recovery. But, um, you know, I think our ability to move Sosa inside and outside cr helps us create depth. It's a lot like, a lot like the offensive line. You have, to, you have to cross train some guys at times. So, and it's what's best for the team. Have you been as pleased with Brian Wallace's practices as you were with his preseason conditioning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. I, I have. I think, um, um, I think he's done a good job. I want him to lead more, kind of be that, that influential guy up there. But uh, he's been he's been pretty rock solid, and uh, uh, so I've been pleased with B. Wallace. Um, again, a guy that provides stability at that right tackle position, and, and extremely athletic. So, hey Chad, a minute ago you you said that was a good move to center for uh, for Yelp. I mean, is he is he a center now, or is it? Yeah, he's playing a lot of center right now. So he's, he's your mm -hmm. guy right now. I may put you at center for it's over with. <laughs> I hope you don't ever get that done. Come on now. Uh, I mean, we, we, yes. Right now, we're, we've 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 made that transition. Right now, and it doesn't mean he's not playing some guard. He'll get some reps at guard. But right now, he he took over the last two days. He's took the majority of reps at center. So, so you think Dylan might be out a while, or I, you know, I don't think so. I think Dylan's going to be back. I'm hoping that he would be back for Saturday. Um, tomorrow will be a lot of a recovery day for us, um, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll still go out, but it'll be more of a recovery practice for us, and and a lot of lot. Extended film study, uh, but um, you know I, I'm hoping to get Dylan back. If it's not for Saturday, hopefully from for Monday. Yeah, I think you had Kirby over there at left guard. What would you think of him? How's he? Yeah, doing? I, I I think Kirby is. Uh, you know, we're trying to find that that. You know, where is that fit for him? Um, I think that Kirby's back. You know, been moved around in there, and he's doing some good things. I think that when you look, Johnny Gibson at right guard and. And Brian Wallace at that right tackle, you're pretty solid right there. If you have, you know, Yelder right there at that center, now we got to get that left side kind of solid like we want it. And uh, so that's that's kind of the the challenge right now, the puzzle pieces. You're talking about 100, 101 for Sarah. You're talking about the temperature? Yes, yeah, so the temperature. Plays. No, okay. no, I'm hoping to get about 180 plays oh, in. Okay, I thought that, that seemed a little light. Yeah. Okay. And is that going to be the first time you guys have been in the stadium since it you've is. been here? Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, I know there's not going to be 70,000 people here or anything, but what, what do you think about getting in the stadium? I, you know, I told our guys a couple of days ago that uh, Saturday scrimmage will be in the stadium. I mean, they were they were excited. I think they're they they're uh, they see what's going on. I mean, they're driving down the road and seeing everything kind of coming together. There's just a lot of excitement and you know, change of venue is uh, is always good for these guys, especially a scrimmage. I know a lot of their parents are coming in. 
and uh, get a chance to, to watch them watch perform in as close to a game situation as we can get.